today. I'm gonna cover, yeah. I'm gonna cover the rolling back take from, from here. Okay, so I've essentially got like a, a smash pass position and I wanna take the back. All right. Now I'm gonna, one of the main things I wanna make sure is that I beat the line of this knee. So if you go for a rolling back take, but they're able to get their knee flared out, it really is hard to get the, the back exposed. Okay. I want to make sure that my leg is past the line of this, this knee here. Okay. Even if we're, if we're here, you have to fight for that. Sometimes the person will be flaring that knee and they're like elevating you. You have to push that out of the knee there. Okay. Um, now, ideally what I'm going to do with this rolling back take, I'm going to uh, get a couple of controls. This is ideal, okay? One of them is a grip on the back of the collar with my elbow turning, like keeping Misha's back exposed, okay? Like this, okay? So if he, if he tries to roll back to the mat, I can actually like put some, some backward pressure. It gives me a little longer to get like behind the back and expose it. If he gets his back flat to the mat, it's harder to, to expose the back, okay? So ideally when I go for this rolling back take, I'm gonna get this collar grip. No gear would be like a a grip on the, the far trap here, okay? Um, like this. A variant of this is to come under, like so, but it's usually more like once we get our chest around the back, okay? So we're gonna go, for now, over the collar here. All right, my next ideal grip, which, is, which you won't always get, but the next ideal grip is that I'm actually able to step on the back of this calf to keep that open, okay? This is gonna make it really nice when I roll through to be able to feed the, the hook, okay? So we're gonna go from here. I've got the back of the collar, keeping Misha's shoulder off the mat. I'm gonna grip the, the belt, or it can be the pants here. I'm gonna roll over my right shoulder, like this. And then I'm gonna use this to feed through as a hook. I put my feet together, extend. And I pull, I push his hips down right over the top of my hips. You see I got my chest to the back here. Um, one of the reasons this is good is like, let's say Mish is starting to push or whatever, like it really can like, let me pull myself in close to his back. I don't want to end up in a position without that back, like this. Okay, so now if I don't have that collar grip and Mish is pushing, it can be still a struggle to get the back exposed. Where if I had the collar already and Mish tries to make distance, it's not so easy. I can still work, to work to, towards taking the back. So you want this grip, that's it. Okay. I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna grip the collar, and turn my hips to my to my right. If I can, I'll catch this. If you can't, you can just scoop. It's a little more work. Ideal is this, okay? But I'll, often you'll just have a scoop here. I'm gonna roll over my shoulder, like this, and I'm gonna make sure that as I extend here, I can feed my hook, okay? All right. If you're having trouble, you can often go to here, use your other foot then, just scoop back and get a hook. And then I want to extend from this position. Get my back, finish his back. And I can take the back from there. Um, one last thing, something else that's really important. When I want to roll Mish over, stuff in there. I want to expose, like lift his back off the ground with this. So which means I need to take his knee like pretty much over his shoulder. See how that lifts the, the back? It's the same thing as when we're doing a stack pass. We want to exp expose the back, we want to like drive forward. A lot of people do this and they push out wide. His back does not get exposed and he can hip out, okay? So I'll show you the mistake that's, that's often made. People are here and they pull the leg out sideways, okay? Here, Mitch hips out and he can face me. I haven't lifted his back off the ground. Okay? I want to make sure when I roll through that my legs take Mitch's hips up, okay? You see it when I... And do the movement. So we're here, over the shoulder, like this. I want to keep my right leg pinching back. Left leg is going to push and stop. Okay, like this. Exposing the back. Feet go close to the hips, and it's like a little bridge. I can even push away with my left hand to expose the back further, and a pull in to the right. Take the back. Um, that's obviously easier if you can feed your hook beforehand. So one more time. Here, you can feed your hook, that's great. If you miss the hook, we can stomp. Okay. All right, let's go.
Three, two, one. Clarify, guys. Uh, there was two two leg positions that you could have possibly got there, and that, they're a little bit different the way you finish. So when we rolled through, there's like if I don't have my the the right foot hooked, which like the ideal is that I get my my hook right. And once I have my hook, sometimes we do that. Now it's very easy to take the back because I've already got my hook for the back. Um, but sometimes you won't have the hook. That's when we do this push pull, stomp close, and we expose the back, and we get our hook now. Okay. If I can already get the hook, I kind of don't have to worry too much about the like the finish is a lot easier here. I can put my feet together, extend. I already got my bottom hook, I just look for my top hook. Yeah. So now let's just do a drill. Um, even if you get your hook or you get this positioning here, I want you to assume that you're starting to lose position. Okay, so maybe maybe that Mish is starting to get his hips to the to the mat here, and I can't, yeah, and I can't. Um, expose the leg as much, but I've still got the knee line captured. Okay, so all we're going to do, we're going to just roll back to our initial starting position. Uh, I'm going to work to take the back a, a different way. Okay, so we're going to get from here, and I'm going to start to roll up, and I'm going to use that elbow to expose the back here. Okay, once I have that, you can actually ideally you're still holding the, the belt. You can post on the mat if you need to as well. I'm gonna scoot my left knee behind, right leg across the hip, and I'm gonna fall across to take the back this way. So let's just do that again. We've got the, the back of the collar already, I've got the belt. I go for this, for whatever reason it's not working, I'm gonna shoot, my, maybe I can't, you know? But yeah, usually it's like, it's like that, or maybe he's, Turn to face away, Mish. Other way. Yeah, and I feel like I can't actually get the leverage to, to get any hooks here. I'm gonna shoot up, and I make sure my elbow, like at my forearm, turn Mish away here. Now I need to. I want to sit Mish up. It's a little harder to take the back if I if I don't. So ideally, with this, my left knee comes nice and high, and then I sit on my right hip with this foot hooking here. Okay. So now, even if Mish is staying heavy with his upper body, when I like sit down and pull. I'm pulling across, across my bottom hook, and I got the back. Okay, so again, watch my the right leg is actually quite important too. So it's going from here, and I scoot, and I catch the, the the hips here. Okay, as long as this forearm's tight enough that Mish can't face me, and he's going to be trying to, so I need to be falling down and pulling him across. I'll still be able to take the back. So Joe's going to look like this. Gonna start from. From that position, like so, we're gonna go for a rolling back take. We're gonna miss, we're gonna come back up, scoot. Uh, if you want, you can try it with this as well. Because that's it. Uh, when you come back back up, is an excellent time to get the, the collar grip. It can be hard to get sometimes from, from here. I can't get the collar here. So now I've got just the belt here, and I want that back of the collar. Once you get the back of the collar, you're your chance of finishing is very high. Okay. So I've just got the belt here. I'm going to swing up. And now my hand's ready to go to the collar. See how it's gone from, from the belt here, elbow staying where it is, blocking, and I go to the collar. Okay. From that, you can sit through. Or you might even, you know, this can happen a few times. You might go to the collar, but Mish is realizing he's swinging his leg. We come back, and then next time, I'm going to come up. I can work to the back. From that. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. One minute. Each. Just go from the barambola now and try to get that sequence, but starting from the barambola from stem. Okay. So, um, we're gonna, as I said, each week we'll work back. So we're gonna work from like next week. Once you've lost a bit of the knee line, how we recover that, just you know, often using crab ride and so on. Um, as we, as we start to lose our rolling back take, but. So let's uh, knock our opponent down, reach for the belt. We can roll through to, to here. Yeah. If you want, look, let's do this as the sequence. So you roll through to here, lifting the legs, and we're gonna get our uh, back grip as we do that. Okay, so I'm gonna bridge, and that exposes the, the nice high collar grip here like this. Okay, 
For the sake of it, of course, you could try to take the back. For the sake of it, though, I'm going to let Mish roll back through. And we start to sit through. We're going to go. There and bolo. Get their hips to the mat. Reach to the belt and roll through. I want to expose the back by using the that scissor action. And then I can get, when I do this bridge properly, I can get this uh, this grip, okay? If you don't do the bridge, where, where can I go? Okay, very hard to take the back. Bridge, take this grip. I'm gonna swing back. I'm gonna go to the back. Okay. One minute each, three, two, one. 